good to go here. Howdy, everybody. roasted meatballs left and my daughter wants um, a hamburger because we don't have any of our little chicken bites so uh, I'm gonna make a couple of hamburgers for them and I'll have a couple of meatballs and uh, we're gonna go from there grab a shelf here Since I am going to cook two hamburgers, I'll maybe put the meatballs on the bottom, or the hamburgers on the bottom, and this on top, we'll see. This is the beef left from when I made that, uh, that uh, onion ring burger there, or whatever you want to refer to it as. I usually don't season the burgers, but we'll see. I don't have, that's that's fine for my daughter. She doesn't need a lot. I don't know where my hamburger press is, but this will work just fine. make a few mini ones that way it's easy I think Donna will probably do a meat meatballs I uh, sorry a hamburger sub I have some cheese that'll be cool a couple of mini hamburgers in there right well might as well use the rest of the meat right Maybe I will throw a little salt and pepper on these, just a little bit. I could throw some Montreal steak on there too if I wanted to, or instead of. too many spices on there because they may not like that. Again, just cracking a little bit on there. It's going to take a few minutes, okay? I'm making it some little ones and then a big one for mommy. Hold off on making mine. We'll see shortly. Get this pan. I need to spray it. I wonder if pan for grilling would be good on this surface, to be honest with you. I'm gonna try it for the hell of it.
if I have to do my meatballs later. Like I said, that's okay. Let's see what we got. No, that's not gonna fit. That's all right. Let's get these burgers in there. I'm gonna have to adjust the stand in a little bit. I apologize about that. Hey, real show. What's going on, buddy? Okay. I'm gonna do these burgers for 370. It shouldn't take too long. Do 16, 15 minutes. They're just mini, so. Got to empty out the Breville. I have to go back to mounting the camera the old way. I've been testing a few different scenarios to give me more flexibility, but the way it hangs, it doesn't always work. So you are about to see some flippy stuff going on right now, but I will try to be easy with this as possible. Yeah, you're going to be upside down for a second, I apologize. I'm just uh, trying to get this to a place where I can do this in a good manner. Alright, tighten up the back here. Everything's going to be tightened up and loosened up a little bit. Whoa. Hey, David, I saw you on there. Just my my brackets having a little difficulty. Some of the screws broke loose. So uh, I'm just doing that. I'll find a different way to get that hanging right. So I just mashed out a couple of burgers. We're out of chicken fingers for my daughter. And while I'm at it, I am going to make a uh, cheeseburger up for Donna. Oh, this is too close. Let's get that out. Get ourselves some sub rolls. Get those cut and ready to go. So halfway through, I will start to toast the sub roll and uh, you know melt the cheese in it as well. I have not decided whether I'm going to uh, give Donna the two tiny burgers to make theirs or one big one and cut it in half. Let's see. I'm going to puke. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I used this bracket for a live yesterday, and um, I made some changes to it to kind of help along. So yeah, sorry. That'll teach me though. Better plan the next time, right? Probably end up using the two smaller burgers for her and one or two pieces of cheese depending. They're kind of thin sliced. Alright, so got her roll ready. I'm gonna get the cheese out and I'm gonna stick it on there. It is uh, not holding up for some reason. It's not holding the weight. I don't know why. problem is there's too much weight at the end of the tail for the bracket here. Like I said, I was messing with it yesterday for something else. Yeah. 
<laughs> you think you're gonna now just wait till I make another adjustment here to try to uh, equalize this thing I'm gonna grab a pair of pliers to tighten this up meanwhile you can stare in an air fryer if it'll stay up A spare nut driver here for this. Yeah, that loosened up quite a bit, and that's the reason why. All right, now we'll be good. When you mess around with this thing so much, the screws just naturally loosen up because you're twisting them everywhere. All right, I think we're good for now. No more puking, no show. I watched the ball video last night. The camera setup was great. Hey, thank you, David. Um, I did realize, and I'm not sure why. I downloaded the video from YouTube after it was available, and it seemed low resolution. Also, I believe the um, the live I get, gadget live I did yesterday, um, it's not going above like 480 or 720. So I'm gonna have to figure that out because I was kind of disappointed with the video quality. The live quality might have been fine, but I'm not sure what was going on. I just might have to tweak the settings. But thank you, I appreciate that. Um, I'm learning as I go around with that OBS streaming. It's a pretty cool app. Um, you know, here's my meatballs in case you didn't see it. I got four left here. It's a beef day. And uh, the sub, I'm getting ready for the burger. That's been going in there for about six minutes. Let's take a look to see how this is. Those things cooked up really fast. All right, and they plumped back up, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. Turn these over. I know if I poke a hole in it, it's probably going to just start squirting oil anywhere, but for the hell of it, I am going to check the temperature. Hey, take care, man. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. And the burger, the big one is at about 105 maybe or so. Check on smaller ones. Maybe about 120. Doesn't have too much longer to go. The dual camera from her setup, there's no doubt it's nice. Um, I want to actually talk to Kirby about his setup simply because the problem I'm running into when I'm editing the setup, I have to create separate profiles for the laptop and my desktop and they synchronize amongst devices, so it's great. But what I found was when I highlight one to edit it, Stream OBS, Stream, Stream Labs OBS locks up, it like the mouse moves, but I can't do anything like click on anything. And uh, I have to delete the profiles and recreate them. And then sometimes it'll come back. It came back once. So yesterday, I think uh, I probably annoyed a bunch of people. I had to keep restarting the stream yesterday uh, because it was not working. But uh, with the brownie batter, I was able to make uh, five bowls. Um, Donna and Natalia got two of them. And I saved the other three. I didn't have any. Um, and, uh, you know, the ice cream. But uh, it takes about five minutes or so to get the bowl just right uh, for the brownie. The biggest problem I had with the brownie bowl was that getting it out, because I knew it was, it was too soft to break, uh, it would break. So basically, I was tipping over the Belgium bowl maker, and Donna had a plate to catch it, and then I transferred it into a nice uh, plastic uh, dish. So you can put on a plate. The plastic dishes are disposable, and they're the perfect size. Um, I don't recall if I showed it on the video last night, but you can check that out. Thank you, sir. Have a great one. I think I already responded, but just making sure. And uh, I'm trying the pan grilling on the air fryer just to see if it's any different. You know, I know you're not supposed to use these things on uh, nonstick trays but I figured what the hell I'll try it once if once it's going to damage it then it's not a good product to begin with but uh, I'm not sure what the difference is between the two maybe I'll read formula especially for high temperatures okay so basically it's a higher temperature pan okay 
this a real show, David? Is someone else poking on? Feel, please feel free to comment. Don't be shy. And, uh, how much time do we have left? Seven minutes, so we've gone eight minutes. Let's take a quick peek. You can see here, it's starting to look pretty good. I am going to do a quick temperature check. More for curiosity, because I didn't use my burger press. I couldn't find the, uh, the press. it's not being cooperative I think there's a, a hollow pocket in there which is giving me a false reading because I'm pretty sure it's not 53 degrees uh, it's because I hit the Celsius button wouldn't that explain a lot right all right we're at 135 that's good so we're gonna cook these to about 160 or so because I'm not gonna let them rest it's gonna go right into the sub and I'm going to start to preheat the breville. Uh, we'll put it on the bagel setting. Basically, it's just enough to help melt the cheese off. Get a paper towel ready. Donna was very specific. Make sure there's no grease on it. Yeah, David, when I had the mic set up, I used this microphone boom, and I had to Velcro around, and I had to run the wires to the uh, to the laptop, and I did some improvement. I went into the camera config software, and I made it widescreen, because I had made it narrow for my desk, but I, I widened it back up, because I couldn't get the camera far enough away. happen a lot of clunking noises going down the stairs I noticed uh, David um, no one else me, but uh, you've been on a lot of my chats and again I appreciate that I noticed there was an ad when I first connected this time last night at like somewhere between 10 and 11 I don't recall Google sent me an email saying, congratulations, you are now demonetized. So they said by the end of June, so they did it. Uh, you should do a microwave core on the cob video. It's fast and awesome. Yeah, so I get, um, I have uh, the BJ's, this stuff right here, this organic sweet corn, this stuff is awesome. It tastes really good. And basically, you throw like a quarter of the bag or however much you want. You, you put some uh, quarter cup of water. You nuke it for three minutes. You stir it up. You nuke it again. And you butter it and salt it or whatever you want to do. It's really good. Um, you said no. But I'm not sure what you said. No, too. So you didn't get an ad. I got an ad. Maybe that's because I uh, had jumped on really early. On my own. All right, let's take another look. These have been in here about 10 minutes, and these are looking like well done burgers. Which, again, we are on the side of caution here. They're actually uh, just barely done, the small ones. Let me check another one. They're basically like big meatballs, and let me check this bigger one here. I think what I am going to do is flip these over one last time and just uh, crisp up the little other side just a hair more for like just two minutes again I'm uh, I'm a media well kind of guy and I like to make sure that um, things are cooked the last thing I want is well chicken more so but want to make sure it's cooked and then we'll get down the sub ready we'll heat up the cheese to melt it up now throw in my meatballs 
could have did hot dogs. I actually had sausages in there. I forgot I had them. Because I only used two to make my uh, bacon and cheddar wrap sausages uh, a few days ago. I just don't have the time for that today. I, uh, a lot of meetings. I don't even have time to go really for a bike ride. But it is 80 degrees. It's probably going to be humid. We had a heavy downpour yesterday. I also, David, I decided I downloaded all my videos I've been doing live. The quality isn't fantastic. However, what I'm going to do is uh, I downloaded them, and I'm going to have a new series where I take those one-hour videos where I talk to everybody with the food, and I'm going to cut them down to a really short video, and at the end, link it to the long video if they want more detail. I can't give away my secret code name I'm going to use for the videos. I'm not sure what you said no to, but when you get a chance, you can. All right. Let's see what we got there. So I am actually going to. There's three mini burgers in there. So let me, first of all, Donna says, make sure you pack the extra grease off, which I'll do. And uh, I'm going to restart the toaster and get that hot again. We'll flip these over. whole husk corn in the microwave for three minutes, pull it out, cut off the base, squeeze the top, and the corn slides out clean. Oh, I see what you're saying. I thought you meant corn on the cob. Yeah, I, corn on the grill is pretty good. I When I do it on the grill, which is rare, I uh, open the husk up and I pull out all the threads, I'll call them, and then I soak Put, put the husk back over, fold it back over, soak it for a long, good long time, take them out, wrap them in foil, and throw them on the grill like that. All right, so let's get this over the sub. I am going to actually give Donna the three smaller pieces just because they fit better. See how perfect those fit? And I'm going to put the cheese on there. And I'm going to put it in the bread. I am toasting it. I should have probably had gotten a tin, but um, I forgot to rinse off the uh, device I have. So let's get this in there for a couple minutes. We'll toss up the bread. That. All right. So let me would say, put a whole husk of corn in the microwave for three minutes. Pull it out. Cut off the base. Yep, got that. Squeeze the top, and the corn slides. Oh, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. I thought you, I, I understood that the wrong way. Just so it pops right out, you don't have to peel it back. No work fasting is you gotcha. Good idea. Maybe I'm gonna do a vegetable series, just for everything, you know, like uh, microwaving the broccoli, the corn, you know, and doing the air fryer and comparing them all out, you know what I mean? Hopefully that cheese doesn't melt out. Let me just call it Natalia. Your hamburger is ready, okay? Just a little hamburger for her. And a bit some ketchup for you. Do you want to go get yourself a fork? And I'll get your dub dubs. Thank you. Are you having one? No, I am not. And dub dubs. Okay. Which one? This is smaller. Oh, I put too much dub dubs. Da da. Okay. Here you go. Do you need me to cut this a little for you? Yeah. Maybe a little bit? Okay. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome. I'm going to taste a little bit just to make sure that, you know, it's okay. <laughs> you always take a bite of my food. I, I don't. Mm -hmm. Last time you took mm. a bite of my pasta. Uh, I was just testing it, I swear. Eh, we'll see about that. Okay. I left that in there a little too long. That's what happens when you turn your back for a minute. Oh, it <laughs> came off. Let me reheat that. Let me turn that back over. 
Give me one second. I have to throw another slice of cheese on it because it, uh, it burnt up and fell off. This is why I always have to set timers for myself because if I'm not, if I just start up going off on a ramble, I don't pay attention. I'm doomed. that in for another two seconds just to get that reheated all right you can't see that though can you there you go the uh, cheese slid off when i went to go pull it so that's why i should have put it on a tin See the cheese melting up. When I pulled the stub out, the cheese slid off. When I pulled the stub out, the cheese slid off. So I'm just looking at that. Put another piece of cheese on it. All right. Let's get that on the And there is the cheeseburger sub. She can add whatever topping she wants to that. What I should have done was get the few roasted meatballs I was going to have. There's four of them. I might throw in a sausage too. Let's get that in there. What is she eating? The hamburger. Yeah, definitely going to tighten up the stand a little bit. These usually take about eight to nine minutes, but it's been running, so it might be even faster. Instead of giving you like one big hamburger and cutting it in half, I um, gave you three mini ones and fit them right in. Yeah, I agree with that, Dave. Is a kid enjoying summer vacation? So her vacation just started a couple days ago. Uh, what model coaster is that? I like the light option. That is the uh, Breville. Oh, let me hand off the sub. Uh, that is the Breville Smart Oven Air. It's their newest model. It's big, and it's not cheap. Uh, you can get it at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond with a 20% coupon all day long. There's a link in the description. Um, and that link will take you over to the Amazon one. It's been going on sale a lot for, yeah, 400 It's been going on sale a lot for 320 lately, but if you buy it at Bed Bath & Beyond, there's always that 20% off coupon. You can get it for 320 bucks. Like I said, it is, it is big. So, Does the air fryer put out a lot of heat? Yes, yeah, so you need to keep this air fryer and don't follow my example where I have the tablet on top. You want to keep it away from the wall and there's a heat vent on this particular one in the back. Do not sit it on the stove because inevitably you're going to turn on the stove and melt it. Um, you don't want anything blocking the back and this is an air intake for the fan. You want to make sure that you do not um, block any of those but if I have this thing running if I go get my heat gun right now my my heat temperature probe and this thing's been running for a half an hour hour if I'm cooking like a whole chicken or something like a five pound chicken this plate I have and that's the other thing if you have a quartz or granite top you uh, sorry quartz or Corian top the heat will crack it you need to make sure you put a trivet or something underneath some people go out and buy fancy ones like a, or even a butcher block other people go to Lowe's or Home Depot buy like a, a big 12 inch tile or bigger and put feet on the bottom and sit on the countertop but you got to be careful these things generate a ton load of heat but um, you know as long as you're careful with it this thing's great um, I've had it uh, since August of last year yeah, it, you really got to follow the guidelines on this. You really don't want to skimp. 
it's you know if you have a newer kitchen you have dedicated circuits but you know you got to be careful if you don't because you can have an air conditioner running on the same circuit as what you what you have in the kitchen i have uh three dedicated circuits and two pass by circuits here uh one is dedicated um to the breville and the coffee maker and i don't use the coffee maker uh this is on a circuit that is just uh sorry this shares it with the breville I'm uh, sorry, this shares it with the coffee maker, which isn't running. The Breville shares it with one of the outlet that is never in use, or very rarely. And then there's the dedicated uh, kitchen refrigerator outlet, which shares it with some USB chargers. Daddy, can I tell you something? Yeah. I like it. You liked it? That's good. She's just calling to tell me that she loved her hamburger, or she liked her hamburger. Hey, Neil, how are you? I think it's still too early to turn these. But um, I'm only turning them because this was really preheated. And as soon as I put these in, they're going to tend to roll anyway because there's a flat bottom in it. Flat bottom news, Okay, I was able to squeeze that in without too much effort. Didn't want them to roll around on their flat side. Best thing I should probably do is cook them on the unflat side first because then they'll naturally roll over when I shake it. Neil, remind me, where are you from? Well, I, I have many people uh, who are from the UK. I always forget where everybody is, so uh, I usually ask a second time around about that. Pennsylvania. So you're once you're. I've been to Pottstown. I drove down there when I went racing down there uh, the track. Uh, you're in the same time zone as us, I believe. So you're at around lunchtime. Yeah, anytime between ten and two is lunchtime, right? Um, I might four meatballs isn't a lot, so. I'm gonna throw myself in a sausage. I'm not gonna wrap it in um, in bacon. Sorry, that's I did that the other day. But uh, I will wait to put those in because that's raw and my meatballs are already in there cooking. But that'll give me time to kind of start to feed on that other stuff. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Pottstown, well, you'd know better than I, but I, I always forget. I think it was, was it five, five or six hours to get there? Six hours from Massachusetts where I am? And David, I was looking for some magnetic mounts because I want to start using those to, so I can stick those cameras in easier places than having this little boom here. But uh, the magnetic mounts are pretty pricey. So what I am going to do is I'm going to uh, use my uh, Manfrotto, Boga Manfrotto Super Clamps. It's the part number is 0035 and uh, 0026 for the umbrella swivel. And I'm going to use those to hang the cameras up or the lighting, the extra lighting I have in different places. I think I had this set for, oh, it was eight minutes actually, so it's only been five, so yeah, I screwed myself up. Usually this defaults to 15, but the counter was continuing from the burgers I just cooked in there. So in reality, these have only been in there about six minutes right now. So I actually could have thrown that sausage in there pretty easily. Throw that sausage in there, right down the road. Okay, as you can see, now would have been the time to have turned them for the first time. So I'm going to turn these, as I said, but now what I'm going to do 
is uh, I am going to put that sausage here and hope the meatballs don't roll on and hit it. But uh, when the meatballs come out, I can then turn the sausage. Now, I personally do not want to use a big roll on the sausage because that's just a lot of bread right now. So I'm just going to grab a hot dog roll and uh, maybe I'll actually throw it in there while it is cooking, like when it's halfway cooking. Because the bread cooks extremely fast in the air fryer. So fast that I don't like cooking bread in the air fryer. Now I have cooked an entire uh, bacon, egg, and cheese in the air fryer, but it was it was tough. You're on a bagel. You know, I was setting up multiple layers and it just wasn't worth the hassle. I just used the toaster oven for the uh, bagel at this point. Some things are just easier without the air fryer, you know. Uh, bacon's great, the sausage is great, um, but the bacon, as it lightens up, it might fly away inside the air fryer. I'll be back with you in a second, just gonna check something. No one's trying to call me. I don't know where I put my phone down. There it is. Neil, are you a subscriber? Have you checked out uh, any of my other videos? I think you did mention something there. Uh, okay, Tasha Lee, I apologize. I missed you uh, your last question there. Uh, do you use the Breville for air frying? Well, the Breville itself is called, this is a, a newer model. This is the Smart Oven Air. They have a, like a regular, I forget what the term they use for it is, onion uh, for air frying. The air fryer does a much better job, I, in my opinion. Uh, you gotta treat the Breville more like a convection oven, not a, uh, not a, uh, an air fryer, but, it does a good job. It's just I like the way it comes out in the air fryer better. So here we go. Got the meatballs. Got the four of them here. And that's kind of my pre-snack. Let's take a look at that sausage now. I'll turn it anyway. And I'm going to turn that up to 400. And I'll turn this down to five because I'm going to forget while I'm talking to everyone here. Okay, thought so. Uh, yes, I was Neil, did you send it under a different name? Because I know your name looks familiar, um, but for some reason something's not jiving right because a real show sent me one too. And uh, I have the links. I use a program called OneTab for Chrome for my PC. And a lot of those I pull down to one Chrome because um, it's just easier instead of having a whole bunch of tabs up sucking up all my system resources. Uh, I, I was saying the real show that uh, the spices are very reasonably priced, but the shipping not so much. So. I'm kind of waiting to like plan about a bunch of things I want to cook now that especially since summer's here and stuff like that, um, that I can buy these without paying as much shipping as I can in product. Does that make sense? Ooh, this is still hot. Yeah, I think you sent me, might have sent me, you told me possibly was it two you told me about? I know Real Show told me one and then another, but I thought you might have mentioned a couple of them. Mm -hmm. 
This I can't remember was in here. I think the meat was in here. So this is going in the barrel. And the big Ziploc bag that had the meatballs in it. I'll keep that for the next five pounds in it. Okay, I apologize uh, for some reason it's not ready. Okay, little mini meatball. This last batch of five pound meatballs I made. Best batch so far. I don't know what I did differently, but the taste and the flavor now. I think part of it is I did beeping measurements for everything. Because my recipe is for four pounds, and I did five pounds, and I might have not adjusted correctly. So I pulled more of the spices in there. Spices. So many things going on in my head. Plus, it's got to be aged too, right? For me, anyway. And Neil, I don't know if I have this recipe up on one of my web pages, but I always say these are great. You make a ton of them. You let them cool down on the stove, whether you pan cook them, air fry them, whatever. You just can go walk by, grab one or two, pop them in your mouth, and you're on your way. My mother and grandmother used to do that when they made these big Sicilian pizzas. They'd make a ton of them on a Saturday. And uh, after they cooked them, they would leave them on the stove. And, you know, throughout the day, we're hungry. We'd grab one of those nice thick slices of Sicilian pizza. The balls are fantastic. Chopped that up in all the mind. Juicy. All right, let's check that sausage. All right, you can see it's not done yet. I'm gonna pop it in that way. I said I was gonna cook my bun in there, but what I'm worried about is it getting all greasy. So, what I'm going to do. Is uh, I got a little wet. I'm gonna get this grate right here. Stick it there. Put the bread on top. Pop it back in. I hope the bread doesn't fly. It is close to the top, so usually you can tell if the air fryer all of a sudden makes a strange noise change, you know something went flying. I don't know if you can see that or appreciate that. But that is one juicy roasted meatball. I do. Yeah. Um, up until recently, I don't know if you can see me, I only used it for rice. But um, a few weeks back, I did baby back ribs and spruce ribs in there. I put them in the pressure cooker for. for it was like 18 for the baby back, so there's a single rack cut in half, and then like 30 for the St. Louis, because there were two racks cut in half, so they were in there. And I filled it up just below the surface of the grate for, with apple cider and apple juice. And then, I, uh, and of course I did rub on them before I put them in. And then when I took them out, after cooking more rub, whatever barbecue sauce, and I put them in the breville for the baby back, and uh, got that nice bark on it. And for St. Louis, I did it in the oven only because there was too much to fit inside the uh, 
problem. I did it in the other because it wouldn't fit in the problem. The bread this has a, actually enough crisp in it that I don't want to do it anymore. So I have to sit this somewhere. <laughs> I'll just sit on top of the stove. And the sausage still needs more time. So what I'm going to do is pull that out. And continue to cook the sausage here. You know, I probably didn't even need that. See, as this heats up, I gotta treat it a little differently here. Oh, I forgot. And the sausages, uh, I'm trying to remember, uh, 12 minutes, I think. Now, I know I did five in the second roundup. But now I forget how much it was in the first, so just a few more minutes. Meantime, let me see if I can show you this. Steam still pouring out of that. It's affecting the focus. You can't tell, but that's got juices coming everywhere out of it. I'm squeezing it and it's popping up. You can see that. Also told me about the old bay because that sounds awfully familiar. Um, 450 a bag for shrimp. I mean, when I buy a BJ's, the frozen breaded, you know, popcorn shrimp, it's like 12, 13 dollars, right? <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at that sausage. Oh yeah. Take a look at the sides and adjust the camera a little bit here. Whoa! This one was an oddball size one. I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute. I got my roll, it's still nice and warm. Those are, I think those are, uh, I forget the brand. They're potato rolls from Arnold. Well, if I'm gonna talk about it, I might as well show it. Potato rolls from Arnold. Donna likes the sub looking rolls, hot dog buns. Me, I don't care. I like the split top just because, but all right, here we go. Let's get that in the roll. Let's get this back in there. Don't forget to unplug your air fryer, folks. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Tasha, you sound like you were 
from Texas. I just saw that now. But uh, always unplug your air fryer when you're done because this air fryer remembers when its last time that was left for a long time. So if you leave it plugged in, you're walking by and you just happen to bump it, it could turn on on you. And you maybe you slid it over on something, on the stove or something. You just don't want that to have happen. I was saying recently, I like yellow mustard. Never liked like grape upon or any deli mustards. And then several months ago, this year, earlier this year, I got a hot dog at Costco and I was like, I don't know what it was. I was like, I want that deli mustard. And all of a sudden my taste, my taste has changed a lot, you know, in the past year, I want to say, because I've been try trying different things. So, so now I don't have any, but uh, I don't know if it's a fluke. I'll go to maybe stop and shop and buy a, uh, a uh, what do you call it? A little sample container, just in case it's a fluke. All right, let's get this out of the way. I got to do the customary picture. People want pictures. That's what I got to do. All right. Now this bad boy is going to be hot. Uh, I lived in Maryland for years. The old bay for all seafood is there, especially Maryland blue crabs and shrimp. Uh, oh, not shift. Sorry, I didn't see you pop in. Uh, I can't see you from the uh, smartphone, so I have to look and bury my head here to see this. When I pop this up here, it might be a little easier. Thanks for joining. All right, let's adjust this camera. Now, one thing I'm guaranteed to do is burn my mouth. But look at that. I hate the delay I get with the uh, tablet. That's why I like having the laptop. I can see things immediately. Nice potato roll there. <clears throat> Happy whisk. Ivy, I prefer to call you Ivy, but I know you don't mind either way. I just see the name I yell at doing dish here for a bit to see what's up. Doing dish. Oh, doing dishes. Okay. When I first read that, I was thinking Dish Network. <laughs> I don't know why. That's good. I haven't had a plain sausage in a while. I did it with the bacon and cheddar the other day. It's like going back to, I don't know, excuse me, sorry. Going back to your roots, but when you're trying to get fancy with the air fryer, you sometimes forget simplicity. If you ever get caught up in the whole air fryer thing or cooking in general, get yourself some chicken wings, cut them up, and just put oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder and uh, put them in the air fryer and it'll help you remember simplicity is great lucky thing the store is just uh, down the street hopefully <laughs> oh, ha. <laughs> oh sorry I meant to comment on that so My seafood is very limited. Cod, you know, breaded, or just salt, pepper, or or my batter that I make in the air fryer, uh, like deep fried breaded shrimps, uh, smelts, as long as they're the small smelts, I do not enjoy the larger smelts. And like a couple of odds and ends, like calamari or whatever. I'm not big on some of the other type of seafoods. I just, maybe it's time I try them again, because like I said, my taste has been changing, you know, and I've become to appreciate some of the, even the spicier foods, because I don't do spicy well, but I'm getting used to it. So this might be a good time to try food again. If you have a suggestion, uh, I won't see it in the live stream for a little bit, but pop, uh, visit later and throw it in the description and I'll give it a go. Why not?
There was a steam pocket in there. I just squirted it out my face. I'm gonna have a burnt lip. Beard probably protected me somewhat. Oh, I got it on my shirt. Uh, let's check what we got for time here. Okay, we got 56 minutes on there. Hey, and if you're on, uh, give this a like. Be sure you give this a like. <clears throat> I know sometimes it gets away from you, um, and you may not do it. <clears throat> but if you're not subscribed, obviously subscribe. Uh, check out some of the other videos. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to take all these one-hour live streams. I have a new name coming up. I'm going to take them, download them, and compress them into a small video. So people just want a quick reminder, they can go there. If they want to watch the show and have you know listen to the chats that went on, they can do that. But that's my next my next thing I'm going to do. Nice weekend here. Looks like sunny hope there too. It's gonna be humid. I mean, we had so much rain yesterday. Fourth of July is gonna be ridiculously humid. I don't do heat well, or humidity for that matter. Give me a 50 degree day, any day. That's what I want. Um, especially when I'm in the kitchen, right? Right now it says it's 80, 80 degrees out, but I'm sure it's pretty humid since we just had all that rain. Being careful not to bite my lip. It also squirted some of the mustard that dripped down on me. Hopefully my shirt's not ruined. Oh well. Oh, what are you getting for a drill gun? It's a lot of good deals were going on on during Father's Day. But um there's still some good package deal with a you know, drill, charger, carry bag, and maybe a, a drill driver or a small impact, quarter inch drive impact. I think we had this conversation. I thought you were going to buy one uh, a few weeks ago when we were talking about the Ryobi tools. Yeah. Brushless, uh, more expensive obviously, but lighter and longer run times on the same battery. And if you use it a lot, it's worth it. And depending what you have around you for stores, everybody carries the wall. I bought Ryobi back in the day. It was a $400 kit. Then they would throw them out the door for $300, and then I had a 20% coupon. I still have all those tools. The batteries are long since dead, but I replaced those. But I just get something serviceable. And I know some of the, even the newer Ryobis, they have two, four, and six amp hour batteries, and then they have the cheaper twos. But they just introduced a three amp hour and a six amp hour, and now they also have, I think, a cheaper 1.5 amp hour. Even the cobalt branded tools are doing that. I think they're trying to make them cheaper to get you to get suck you into the lineup, you know what I mean? And then you're like, oh, I need a more powerful battery, or I need a second battery. Awesome. Isn't it great now having a, a bill for something? <laughs> um, like Lowe's has their 24 volt cobalt. I think their batteries are like 20 bucks. You know, the, the lower end batteries, but sometimes that's all you need if they're for quickie projects. But if you use it any amount, you probably want a two battery kit anyway. They always do these package deals with the batteries, though. I've already got 10 Ryobi batteries, and I can only charge six at a time with my six-pack charger. I don't want more batteries. Give me a deal on the bear tool. They have an electric sprayer, so usually I have this two-gallon thing or one-and-a-half gallons. I pump it up and go spray it. Ryobi has the two of them. The $60 one with the battery, I don't want. Or the, I think it's $40 without a battery. And, uh... But they don't stock it. You gotta order it online. So, that being said, made in the U.S., 
you're gonna have a hard time simply because Rio. I, I mean, Dewalt's not even made in the U.S. anymore. It used to be. Um, Hilti, I think, is made, but that's an expensive, like, really contractor-based tool. Uh, your best choices again: Dewalt, uh, Makita, uh, but even now, like, uh, uh, what is it? Black and Decker owns Dewalt, or vice versa. Um, Craftsman is now owned by Black and Decker. Um, Porta Cable is owned by. Is it Porta Cable that's owned by Dewalt? I know. I don't know. When I go to Lowe's or Home Depot, they have them all sitting next to each other. You can see that they're identical. They just one might have different features, you know. Yeah. So. You can't get away with it. I, I remember the only thing I remember is like, you may remember Saturn, the car company, a division of GM, which is long gone, is they touted, they broke away from the GM mold, but they were a GM company, and everything was built and developed from the ground up. And it was like 80% or 90-something percent uh, made in the USA. You know, the only things that weren't were certain things like the tires and a few other things. And that was what they touted. Eventually, what happened to the Saturn platform is it just became, you know, it went away. It was, they were using the, the common platforms. And then, sadly, Saturn went away, uh, as well as Pontiac and Oldsmobile. I was an Oldsmobile guy. Um, you know, it's just, just too many. Same thing with uh, Chrysler, you know. I mean, they lost. The Plymouth is gone. <clears throat> Sorry. Clear my throat. I can hear myself over the uh, tablet here, and I realize I'm clearing my throat too loud. <clears throat> anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I don't know. I think I'll be doing a live stream tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to do a dual live stream. I'm going to do uh, assembling my 3D printer. If you weren't on all at all yesterday, you'll see that the last thing I broke out was a 3D printer. I'm going to do a live and a recording, and... Uh, Later, I'll do a, a, a sped-up version of the, of the recording of what was live and my first test prints. Hopefully, I hope I can do that tomorrow. No guarantees. But, uh, yeah, sad. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much for joining me, uh, everybody. Ivy, uh, Neil, uh, David, I know he was on this list somewhere, the knock shift. Uh, Tasha, thank you. Uh, Real Show, I believe he's uh, uh, has been gone for a little bit. He did say he just stopped in for a little bit. But again, thank you very much. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hit the notification bell. Probably over up in here in this corner. Uh, so when I put out a video, you'll know. Or a live video, you'll know. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Take care, everyone. Get my chapstick. Ran out of my birth bees. <laughs>